So a lot of this book is how other planets view us, but let's just look at how 20-somethings view the healthcare system in the 60s and 70s versus today in 2018. The 60s and 70s, people writing TV shows talked about Marcus Welby. Get up in the morning, go to the homeless shelter, take care of people for free, deliver a calf on the road because the cow was having trouble, go to his primary care office, and then do left ventricular neurosurgery. We were empathetic gods that could do anything. What about 20-somethings in the 2010s? How do they look at things? It's House and Gray's Anatomy. We're incredibly smart, great memorizers, narcissistic, maybe drug addicted folks that really don't get the human interaction. How do we go from, from here to there? Well, by choosing doctors based on science GPA, MedCats, and organic chemistry grades, and ignoring empathy, communication skills, and creativity. These doctors are very good at memorizing science and organic chemistry formulas and answering multiple choice questions. Unfortunately, patients are not multiple choice questions, so patients have to count on other people to translate what their doctors are telling them. Actually, those other people are usually nurses who are often selected more for holistic, empathetic DNA. You're probably thinking, why don't they change the criteria so doctors can be more like the extinct Dr. Welby? Good question. It's partly because of this funny publication that ranks medical colleges and that every parent and every hoping to be medical student reads. So the fact of the matter is, we're still judged based on choosing medical students to be great robots, which is fine when we don't have robots. But now that we, as every other planet, has robots, we should choose medical students to be more human than the robots. That's our differentiator. And what should happen is we should have U.S. News and World Report, just like the U.S. News and Interplanetary Report does not look at multiple choice tests. It looks at how those humans communicate with other humans and the robot. That should be how we grade the medical students that we take into medical schools and how they work as teams and how they can interact with the patients they serve. That's not just an intergalactic issue. That's something we can do today in 2018 right here in the United States of America.